Whatever is in the hands of God is sure to reach the intended location. Whatever God does is the best thing that can ever happen. He gives everything that is good, which is contrary to what the devil gives. The devil comes only to kill, to steal and to destroy, but God has come to give you life and you will live in abundance. If you keep on going your own way, you are bound to either go astray or be lured by the enemy. It's a waste of time to go searching for love your own way. The road is not known. The best thing to do is to seek God and let Him guide you through. With Him in charge, you will find your true love. Today, people lack self-control and instead of trusting God for their love to locate them or locate their true love, they decide to be baby mamas, having affair with married men while guys decide to be playboy, baby daddies and have affair with married women. You are only shorting the span of your life and wasting the impact your life would have made or gained. This is not the best for you, neither is it God's plan for you. There is joy in discovering and finding your true love and it is without doubt and not out of place for the Bible to say that he who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from God. It is also not out of place to say a woman who has been found in God's channel to favor the household. Why not strive to find God's favor? Why not avail yourself to be God's channel to favor all? You can never have it right and well if you are existing or functioning outside how He wants it to be. You are not meant to live as an attachment to someone who has already found or has been found by someone else. It's your turn to be found or to find your own best part from God. It would not be by your hand, power or making. Entrust Him with the task and He would bring your way the best person, someone that would radiate the presence of God in your life. It would be the best thing to happen to you and in your life. Do you desire to find your true love as a man or be found by your true love to have the best of what life can offer? Then you must be actively engaged in service you cannot hide and expect to find or be found by your true love. Let us talk about some of what you can engage yourself in to be found or to find your true love. Develop character. See, you cannot find your true love or be found by your true love when you have not nursed and gathered the right character trait. You must take time to work on yourself. You must develop capacity and you must have an excellent personality. For the kind and type of partner you want, for what you want to see in your partner and true love, you must take time to develop it in yourself also. You cannot keep what you do not know about. For example, you want a partner who sings well. You need to know what it takes to be a good singer. Similarly, you can't expect to have a partner or a spouse who can pray and study the word when you do not know how to pray or study the word. There would not be an alignment and meeting point. It is who and what you are that you would attract. We attract people like us. You do not expect to have character bankruptcy and expect to be joined or connected with someone that has a godly character. It does not work that way. A person with a godly character would want someone with a sound character set like himself or herself. Equip yourself with the right character and attitude, build your personality and you would be attracted to your true partner and the right person for you. Be engaged and involved in productive work and service. Another thing you should do to meet or be located by a true love and partner is to be engaged in service. This can be kingdom service or any form of service or engagement. You cannot keep yourself at home or in hiding and expect your true love and partner to locate you. You must be engaged. When you are idle and irrelevant, nobody would see or relocate you, neither would you see nor find anyone. You must be an active duty. Ruth was not at home, hiding or sleeping. She found herself working in the field and that was where Boaz saw her. Rebecca was not sleeping at home when she was located by the servant that went on the mission to get a wife for Isaac. Jacob must have seen how active and productive Rachel was 
and that was what made him love her. Esther did not stay behind in her uncle's house and expect the king to see her. She went to participate actively. As a young lady that expects to be seen, located and found by a true love, it goes beyond being beautiful. No man wants to marry a liability. Everyone wants to marry and settle down with an asset. And how do you become an asset? You must put your hands to work. You must be actively engaged in something. And that is where your true love would see you. You must be found working. The kind of person you are and what you are doing is who you can attract. Do you want to marry a lazy man, then stay in your house and daydream? Such a man is also somewhere daydreaming and you both would connect. You must be actively engaged in something and that is where you would be located. For the young man who wants to locate or find a true love to settle with, you cannot afford to be idle either. You cannot be irresponsible and expect to see or meet her. She is somewhere working or looking for a place to work. How can she be resourceful and useful to you? That is the way you can locate her. The lady you would find is meant to come to fill a space in you. She is meant to come participate in the assignment, task and mandate that you have been assigned by God. She is to help you do it better. She is to help her and assist you in ensuring it is done as God expects it. But if you have not found your assignment and you are doing nothing, when you meet her, she would have no time for you and probably be on another man's field or retracting another man because you have not prepared yourself for the task ahead. Take your time as a young man and find your purpose, find your place, build your worth and she will accept you and assist you in the task and assignment that God has given you. As a lady, get the skills needed, have a standard, be an asset, be valuable and you would be found by a true love. As a man, build, build, invest and become valuable and attractive. You must not do this outside of God. It is Him that can guide the right person your way. You cannot afford to have it your way. The fact remains that even the enemy would take note of you when you are building capacity and making yourself valuable and an asset and he would strategize to see to your downfall. He is the one that instituted marriage and if you are abiding and with him, he would surely make an escape route for you. You would not fall victim to the plans and devices of the enemy. Just like Joseph, for you, a guy, ladies would be planted to lure you into having it another way. That is not the plan and pattern of God. Ladies would want to fall on you, but you must remain strong and keep looking to the one that is ahead. As a lady, men like Ammon would want to come and tempt you. Guys without vision and worth would want to lure you in and take you away from what your purpose and where you are going, but you must keep looking forward and not get distracted. It's the tool of the enemy to distract and disorient you. Do not give in to this. It's not all too late for you that have probably deviated. You made a mistake and was captured by Potiphar's wife and Delilah. You made a mistake and gave in to visionless guys. God is also a rewriter of destiny. Seek his face and obtain his mercy and you would be back on course and on a cruise with many that are still standing. You will find true love and it would be the best thing that has ever happened to you.